Good evening, YouTube Model Railroader fans. Welcome to vlog number... <laughs> Not sure which vlog it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, today's date is the 22nd of March. Ooh. Um couple of things that I actually did want to go into tonight after going through some paperwork and <laughs> we're we're going to bypass that for the moment um, now basically what I was doing is is going back through my paperwork from the iterations of this this beast and uh, you know going through and repairing some of it and working on it and I just I was going to use some of it tonight. I actually went ahead and hooked up a clothesline. <laughs> Not a clothesline, but I put up a line uh, behind the, the iPad over here. And uh, I was actually going to use that as a backdrop uh, for sh showing some of the track plans. Because of the fact that we just went over track plans last night. Um, and thanks to the, the group at YouTube Model Builders uh, Live, uh, Barry and Big Bill, I know... Uh, Modeler Man Mike was on last night, um, and Mike, and Mike, <laughs> the track planner, and Mike ha uh, Hale uh, were both on, and I know Gino, Mr. Sharp, was also on, uh, so it was a lot of fun, um, picked up quite a bit, quite a few tidbits, I was hoping that they would get around the, to the question that I had, which they didn't, um, but that's okay. I, I understand it's a, you know, there's an awful lot going on, and I don't know if mine got stuck in queue or or what the deal was, but really what I was looking for, um, and one of the things that they brought up was pinch points, and I know on the, my new track plan there there is an obvious pinch point, and that pinch point happens to be the ind the extra industry, so I don't know if I'm really going to go back and try and re redo this plan for an eighth time, or if it's just going to be one of these things where I'm just going to have to bring the, the drafting board over here, or bring the draft, put the drafting board up here on the workbench and pull that piece of paper down off the wall and, and just sit here and start playing with it. Um, and I've mentioned it before in the past, and I, I'm one of these guys, I guess, that it, it, that's, it's, it, it kind of stinks because I want the best of both, and I, I know it's, like I said, I know it's not going to be easy to do. Um, you know, I do want the point to point in the operation, but I also want to just be able to come down here and throw the switch and watch the trains go around. So, you know, to a point, you know, it, it'd be nice if it was all, it, make a decision, right? Is it going to be one way or the other? And no, no. Namely because of the fact that I have, I do have fun with this thing. Um, right now, it, it's not, right now, not so much. Um, because of the fact that I'm I'm not getting what really what I want out of it on the freight side, the passenger side works works for the most part. You know, like I said, that's that's ninety percent right there. You know, with the fact that the the only unfortunate thing of is once the northbound passengers, basically the division point is the bridge, the swing bridge. That's the division point. So as a southbound train and a northbound train meet on that bridge. At that point, the northbound should have continued on to Harrisburg. The southbound should have continued on to Richmond. That doesn't happen. Um, because what I had originally planned on doing is, is was either using the bridge and that door that I had in the uh, over at the, the house that the thing was in originally, was using the door frame <laughs> or the doorway for actually making the two hidden yards. Like I said, that never happened. So they would have basically, they would have just disappeared. Once you get, once you put the operating pit, once you got into the operating pit, and that was the other problem, or it would have been another problem. If you were going to do operation, there was really going to be nobody watching the trains except for the people operating them. So that wasn't that big of a deal. But when you had people that just wanted to come down and watch trains run, you just closed the bridge, flipped the switch, watched the trains go around in circles. And that's what I, that's what I want. I, 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 I hate to say it, I want my cake and eat it too, but in reality, that's what I want. I want my cake, which is continuous run, and I want to eat it too, which is the operation side. I want the point-to-point -point embedded into that loop-to-loop. 
so that that present like I said before that presents its own problems I get it um the other the, the big question that I had last night was though did they see an issue with the f the passenger lines being six inches above the freight line now there would only be two spots where that would really become a problem that would be in the hidden yard and where that pinch point was that I was talking about and of course I know it's been a couple of weeks and you'd have to go back I think it was vlog number eight I think this is vlog number ten <laughs> now that it hits me Unfortunately, my computer down here is down again, so <laughs> I'm kind of flying blind. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, <laughs> as I shake the benches, I'm trying to get closer. At any rate, um, but that's that's the thing. Yeah, I, I want my cake and eat it too. I, I want continuous run, but I also want the operation. And, and trying to do both, yeah, I get it. Like I said, it, it's a pain. Um, you know, going back, and I wish. I wish I had, and I thought I had a drawing of what the layout looked like on paper that was the, the 50s merged with the 70s into the 80s. That layout, or that pike that we had in the 80s that had the 1950s pike and the 1970s pike merged together, and you could see the, the, the four loops along with the trolley track. They kind of get a better understanding as to what, I was, what, we, were, what we were doing. But I can't seem to find, I may just have to go ahead and just draw it up again. I was hoping I could find it, but I, I haven't come across it yet. So, with that being said, you know, so that's enough on that. But, you know, like I said, though, the YouTube Model Builders live there last night, that was cool. Uh, I'm really hoping that Mike and Mike can, can, can come in and, and work in the hangout, or hang out in the hangouts. Hang out in the hangouts? <laughs> I know that there was one last night, I had to get some sleep. Uh, which didn't happen anyways, but that's beside the point. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they, they, it was nice to have that kind of knowledge out there, and I know that they've done work for, on it, for Barry, for, or for um, Big Bill, for Gino, and for, um, I think they did stuff for Gino, but I know that they did stuff for Derek, and I know that they've done stuff for Big, Big, Big Bill, so... You know, maybe it'll come to the point where I just go ahead and, and, which was one thing, as I was going through, as I was going through, give me a second. Because I'm, I'm going to bring back some nightmares, I'm sure. I was going, I was going through the paperwork, and then I'm going to get into something else here real quick, but I was going back through my paperwork, and I came across some interesting reading material. And, no, I'm not talking about that type of stuff, but anybody remember these? <laughs> or, how about this one? <laughs> it gets better. Um, this one here was actually rather thick, but, y y you know, these, these here are, um, oh, I don't even want to know how old some of these are. Um, and, of course, then you had, uh, then you had this one. Which, I'm not sure if this was actually put out by Model Railroad or not, but I know that the other ones, I believe, were. Let's see, the, this, one, this one here was 1977. <laughs> uh, let's see, the one with Lynn Westcott. Let's see if there's actually a... 1958. <laughs> Good reading. <laughs> and, of course... Oh my goodness, the snap track one was actually 1977 also, so, but, you know, like I said, I was going through, I was going through some of these books, because one of them, I think it was like 101 track plans or some, some ridiculous thing, um, actually, I think I've got that book someplace else down here, it's probably up there in the, you, you see this closet back here, uh, that's actually got all my Model Railroad or magazines in it. <laughs> all of them. Um, I actually, un I, I actually, I think about seven or eight years ago, I actually canceled my subscription to them because I just wasn't as involved. And I'm, st I guess I am getting more involved. But this is a heck of a lot more fun. Give me a second. There's no alcohol in that. It's a straight iced tea. I'm part English. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, as I was saying, I came across some things that I had cut out of that one track planning book. If it'll hold on for a second. Maybe, maybe not. But, yeah, there we go. Um, as the light shines off of it. But these are the types of things that I'm thinking, going back and just using the cutouts. And saying, you know what, let's let's play with this a little bit and, and see if we can't get something that, that fits. And I may even take what I've gone ahead and put on the computer and done, do the same thing. Just bring the drafting board up from the behind here, bring the piece of paper over, make some cutouts of of Beauville as it sits. And I, I realize, you know, this is kind of neat. If you look at this, this gives you the yard. There's only one problem. It's a single track main. And I want dual track. Easy to modify. Should be easy to modify. I think I can I can work with it. Of course, that's the, would make it two tracks, but then I still have to add the other two tracks for the passenger train. But that's... Which, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm going to play around with it some more. I'll figure out something. Like I said, I'm not in a position right now to really tear this thing apart. And uh, and rebuild it anyways. And I know um, there there <laughs> there was one fo of person. I'm not gonna. I know that that, that probably everybody kind of looks through my stuff. But you know there was a there was a fellow that went ahead and made a suggestion to me, and <sighs> it was a nice proposition. I mean, I understand. I, I I think it was very 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 generous of the of the person. Um, but I'm. <sighs> Like I said before, I'm really not in a position to really tear into this thing too much. Um, you know, not right now. Uh, I, I think, in my mind, I think I, what I'd rather do at this point is just continue to run what I've got. Maintain what I've got. Keep going what I've got. And then in a year or two, when the finances come around to where I can actually start tearing into this thing, then I'll make the decision either as I'm building it or after I build it as to whether I'm going to make the switch from DC to DCC. The thing of it is, is, you know, I'm not, obviously, none of us are getting any younger. <laughs> Let's face the obvious. You know, we're not getting any younger, but I've also got a daughter that's going to be going into college here in a couple of years. So I've got that kind of thing to think about. And, you know, the money that I'm making, I have to, you know, I have to put something aside this so she can get into, get into a decent school and so on and so forth. So, <sighs> that's enough of a rant. I think it was a rant. I'm not sure. At um, any rate, I'm going to... I wanted to bring up something else because I kind of forgot about this the other week when we were talking about the foam core. Um, years ago, you know, my father and I and my brothers, we used to go around to swap meets and things of that nature for model railroading. Well, what we came across was just this car. It's a Southern Pacific. It's an old, I, I think, I'm not sure if this was a box car or a stock car. It looks like it might just be an outside braced uh, box car. So, the thing of it is, is the frame was, the, the, there was no frame anymore, and the thing was like 50 cents. And my father was like, well, gee, you know what, all the parts are there, other than the frame and the wheels, I have an idea. Or I actually said, you know what, I got an idea for this thing. So what we ended up doing, <laughs> is we ended up taking and making a, a maintenance shed. Or I ended up making a maintenance shed out of this thing on top of the foam core. Now, the bracing for the awning. Let me see if I can hold this thing somewhat. The bracing for the awning here is actually a toothpick that I broke in half. Well, not broken half, but I cut it in half. And I've got a piece of my dog's hair on my finger. That's nice. Um, <laughs> but we went ahead, I went ahead and cut a, a toothpick, an old wooden toothpick. And made the bracing, in which it's not braced up correctly, but it, here again, made it look like it was done kind of in a hurry type of deal. You know, and this awning is just a piece of cardboard that we scribed and roughed up a bit to make it look like an old tin roof. And as you can tell, the, the top of this boxcar is kind of weathered out also. Um, but we base, but we made a tool shed out of this thing, and the, this, this stuff over here was lumber 
and this is actually plastic. Um, but this was lumber out of a lumber kit. I don't know if I can get it tilted up. But everything is, but the only thing that's not glued on here is the person. <laughs> so he'll move around a little bit. But you get the idea. I mean, we just took an old, an old rail car and turned it into a utility shed. And believe it or not, but we also did the same thing with a caboose. Now, the thing with the caboose, it's still sitting on the layout because I can't take it off the layout without disconnecting the wiring. It has a light inside of it. So, but that's, and I mean, we never, I never really finished it off. I kind of left it that way. I could have gone ahead and done something with the, the, the phone core base and so on and so forth. I just never got around to it. Um, so I just kind of left it alone. But it, it was a neat, well, like I said, it was a cheap thing. It just went ahead and picked up an old, an old rail car that, that was basically destined for the, for the, for the trash can. And we picked up a couple of them like this. Um, a couple of them, the other three, I think we picked up, that. I think it was like three or four of them that we picked up, and we actually repaired three of them, and they're sitting on the layout, or in the box. And then this one here, we just decided, well, gee, we really don't have the parts to repair it, we'll just do something else with it. So, that's, that's kind of what we did. So, if you have any more questions on this, I, I can definitely go ahead and kind of give you an idea as to what we did. Oh, that's the other thing. I don't know if you guys noticed here on the rear, but this is not glued down at all. Basically, in reality, all it is, the ladder, the ladder rungs are still here, and it's the, the car is just pressed into the foam core. So, you know, I mean, like I said, <laughs> even though it's pressed in, now the, 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 the wood up here is all glued together, and that's actually, I do believe, glued to the to the base, but other than that, I know it's at least glued to the car. But like I said, it was just one of those fun little, fun little projects that we had done off to the side. It was like you know that that that's kind of cool. And I think what we had actually done is we'd actually seen it on uh, another layout or something like that, and that's where we kind of came up with the idea. We'll just do one of our own. So, <laughs> uh. Well, I can tell I'm already up to 17 minutes, and of course I've said it before, I'm trying to keep these to, eight, uh, to 15 minutes or less. <laughs> so, I haven't started anything else. Uh, I do have one other update. I actually found somebody that's got parts for that 484 back there. So, I'm going to go ahead and pay the man, and hopefully I'll have the parts sometime this week, and I can get him back up and running, but... With that being said, we're at the 17-minute mark. You all know the deal. Wait for the highball. Green tracks ahead. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.